Welcome back to the channel, Den members, and welcome back to Llama Ranch. Today, Steve and Logan have joined me. Wasn't Darren supposed to be here today? Yeah, yeah you said Darren was gonna be here. You know, he did say he was running a little late, so I'm sure he's on his way. While we wait for Darren, you know, we're gonna do a video today about a question that was posed to me recently, and that's the difference between the 762 by 39 and the, the AR-15 round, the 556. Specifically speaking, the difference in the ballistics gel with the expansion of the round and the wound channel. If you can see behind us, we've got another gel block, and I think it's time for another science video, Steve. Science? Yeah, science. Yeah. yeah. What, what? Oh gosh. I hate everything about this. What's this? Science Steve. What? Science! That, what? What? There! More science! Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah, it's gonna be one of those. Before we even start this, Steve, what are what are your credentials? What are your uh what how how are you a doctor? I don't have a PhD. So you're a medical doctor? Nope, I do not have an MD. So I uh, I uh, slept with a ResMed last night, um, and that makes me qualified. Now, anybody that doesn't really understand the, the real difference between the 762 by 39 round and the 556 or the 223, we're going to jump forward to future me back in the office, and I'll go through some of the, the specifications of each round. Take it away, future me. Oh man, past me has no idea what he's about to be in for. Okay, we're going to make this quick because I got to go. This is a 556 round. This is a 762 by 39. As you can see, these rounds are pretty pretty dissimilar. The grain weight of a 5.56 round is either going to be, typically speaking, 55 grains if you're just shooting regular full metal jacket uh, target rounds, the M193 round, or it's going to be 62 grains if it's the M855 or the M855 Alpha 1 round. So 55 grains or 62 grains versus, typically speaking, in a 7.62 by 39, 123 grains. Nearly double the grain weight of a 5.56 round. Being a heavier round, but having a case capacity about the same as a 5.56, that results in a round that typically has a little more recoil and is traveling at a slower velocity than say a 5.56 round. However, being a heavier round, it's more resistant to wind and it retains more energy at longer distances as far as penetrating power is concerned. But there are some drawbacks. While this may have a greater range as far as penetrating power, the 5.56 round has a considerably flatter trajectory. Whereas a 5.56 round will drop off at 300 yards about eight and a half inches, a 7.62 by 39 round will drop off over 14. It stands to reason then that a 7.62 by 39 round is going to be far more catastrophic, going to cause far more damage, a larger wound channel, and have much more penetrating power than a 5.56 round. So let's go back and see what kind of damage this round does to a ballistics gel block and see how it compares to a 5.56 round. Thanks again, future me. It's always good to know that I'm going to be alive in the next three hours. All right, let's go ahead and shoot this. Not really sure how well sighted in my AK is, but you know, at eight yards, it should be fine. I love being successful in the first shot. Aaron, through and through. Yep. So if you recall from last time we were out here doing one of these tests, the 5.56 and the 2.23 round were actually breaking up about 12 inches into the block. Whereas with the 7.62 by 39, that just didn't give two thoughts about it. It went right through. We got a little bit of curvature, but it still made it through all the way. Scientifically speaking, Maximum penetration. Logan, you and I were talking when we were on our way. We knew that it would do more damage. I'm actually a little surprised. I was kind of thinking that the 7.62 round would actually be stopped just like the, 
the 556, even though we know that it had more power. You can see on the exit wound, it was tumbling a little bit by the end. So it was definitely losing power there. Oh, I wish we could find that round, but yeah, there's no way we're gonna find that. You know, Logan, I was actually gonna shoehorn in some of the footage from when we were out here doing the comparison between 223 and 556, uh, cause I didn't think that this would be in very good condition, but you know, I know you've got your AR-15 here. Do you want to take a shot at it and maybe we can do a comparison just in the same block? Yeah, why not? All right, let's go ahead and do that. What? Oh, Darren? Uh, yeah, I hear it. Is it. Where is it? You hear it? It's getting quieter. Oh, I know he tends to run late, but this is getting a little ridiculous. All right, let's see what you got here, Logan. Obviously, this isn't the greatest uh, example, so I will still shoehorn in the undefiled one from a couple weeks ago when we were here. It's just way bigger than the 7.62. There's just so much more power behind the 7.62 by 39. As much of an AR-15 guy as I am, I think we can conclude that the 7.62 by 39 round definitely is packing more punch, especially at close range. That's not to say that I'm gonna suddenly switch all my guns over and rechamber them to be 7.62 by 39. There are definitely merits to a firearm that is chambered in 7.62. But as I said, it's not as good of a round for reaching out as far as say something like the 5.56. Five, if you're enjoying this video, Consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den. We've got a lot of awesome gun content coming. Again, thank you for all the support. I can't believe that we're almost to a thousand subscribers. It is mind blowing. The number of new subscribers, the community that we're slowly starting to build in the comment section. Thank you. Let's get back to it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna learn more about the gummy bear. Understand your enemy kind of thing? Yeah, so fun fact though, Fun fact, most sensitive part of a gummy bear is the ear. It's like if you were to kick us in the- So we're just gonna come in here. Do a nice little, let's see. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna kinda- Really doesn't seem like there's much to them. Just... No, but you, but you see right, right in here, inside the flap? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is a gummy bear equivalent to the colon. Okay, how do you know this? I told you, I slept with a resmed last night. Okay. But as we dig in deeper here, oh, you will see this one. What the? Has had relations. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, but. No. Mm. You, you Still just. Still good. So what have we learned so far about gummy bears? One. Ear is the most sensitive, and they breed like jackrabbits. We're gonna have to act fast then. If if they're breeding like this, they're gonna take over. There is a way to prevent this, but it'll be messy, it'll be dirty, and maybe a little. M Sound off in the comment section below of what you think of this. Um, I was surprised but not surprised i honestly didn't know if the 762 by 39 was going to go through it but uh, it was really interesting it really does show how much more power is in that round compared to a 556 five, i'm still blown away that the 556 five, broke up like it okay this speaking of breaking up oh yeah anyway i think that's going to do it for this video guys oh, oh okay. crap all right let's find this thing got it more science! Wait, wait, Steve, Steve, Steve! What? There's a letter. But who? It says Beard Man? That's me. No. No, wait, wait, wait! Steve! What? What's going on? Darren. What about him? They have him. Who? Who's they? The gummy bears. What? They have Darren. He didn't even say goodbye. I don't know what Steve's planning on doing, but things just got serious. Logan, I gotta go.